Tadi sebenarnya kalau tengok data yang first tadi saya rasa dia akan jadi color hijau. Ini color kuning maksud dia dia bukan dalam keadaan yang tak baik ataupun keadaan yang baik sangat. Ni sofa dia still in range lah maksud dia. Okey ni pun sama. Break belakang. Ini punya break swap. Okey berapa force yang kita boleh tekan sampai dia cengkap. Mungkin dia juga depend kepada operator yang mengendalikan kereta tu. Kalau dia tekan kuat. Mungkin dia tak imagine dia nak berlaku accident Dia tengok benda ni road Kalau orang tekan betul-betul untuk accident Dia akan hijau lah okay. Seterusnya kita tengok uh, parking brake Dia tarik hand brake Hand brake lah confirm lah brake belakang saja lah Ada drum brake okay. And then emergency brake Bawah sekali uh, 32 Still dalam range lah Hidu okay, Kita tengok graf lah Graf, graf. Okay, graf ni dia compare Antara brake front, avian Antara front, left dengan right 
Tengok, yang ni dia break sampai tak habis Duduk dia stop Dekat 100 dia stop, tayar dah berhenti Yang ni, dia dah sampai 250 Maksud dia kena ejah balik Mungkin break float dia sampai uh, Cepat dengan lambat So, ada yang sampai cepat, ada sampai lambat So, kena tengok balik keadaan dia Ok, macam ni dia lebih kurang eco valid Untuk front, uh, untuk break belakang lebih kurang macam kita tengok tak ada jauh sangat So ok Kalau dia drastik tu dia ada problem lah Ok ni parking brake Untuk tayar belakang kiri dan kanan Ni pun lebih kurang yang dia berhenti Tak ada Maksud dia tak ada problem Cincin lah Maksud dia operator kita pun ikut Tak boleh beri dia Saya tengok ada jauh beza Ada satu net Uh, hi sir, my name is Manoj and these are my fellow roommates and today we are here to present our lab 5 which is side slip test, measuring the car weight and adherence and brake test. Okay, the presentation is for the subject uh, below, BMME 3503 vehicle brake system. Next. Okay sir, these are my uh, group members which is consists of Muhammad Naim Aziz Bitsujan, Ali Jolison, Arif Daniel bin Faizal Shifendi, Ali Zainul Abidin bin Kamaruddin, and myself, Manoj Kumar Analik Krishna. Next. And the table of content is <coughs> includes introduction and equipment, synopsis and theory, work process, and finally, question and question. Okay, let's get started. So, for the introduction of this lab is to inspect side slip testing and adherence. Next is to measure the car weight. Uh, third, to inspect brake car brake force. Next. So, uh, the equipment is to console core drape and waking frame adherence and brake tester. Next. Okay. Next is synopsis and theory. So the synopsis and theory is consists of automated braking system that accurately calculates the braking efficiency of the vehicle and the side slip test simulate driving on a straight flat road without touch touching the steering wheel. And type of measurement that indicate how many meters meters a vehicle will deviate to the left in negative uh, negative or to the right positive and side over a distance so the adherence measurement of suspension system when it is subjected to a canaring or lateral load at the contact patch so for the brake test measurement of brake performance in all condition Vehicle is driven onto the brake tester with its wheel centrally located between the two larger main rollers. A transducer measures the braking force of each wheel as the vehicle decelerates. Regression is measured to determine the step of balance of braking force between near and offside wheels, calculating the difference in percentage form. Okay, next uh, we will go to, to the work process and the result. Okay, this is the procedure uh, for this lab uh, for the general setup. First, ensure the car parked straight to the roller brake test equipment. As you can see in the diagram, the my V car. Okay, next, uh, power supply to the equipment is ready. So the power supply for the equipment to, for the test then boot up the computer software. This is the software uh, as we can see from the diagram. Then uh, selecting the type of test, slip, side slip test, measuring the car weight, adherence and brake test. Next, select the measurement to make by the pressing enter. Uh, this is the features that we we have to follow to, to, to do the lab to do the testing. Okay, next, uh, finally choosing the vehicle category. So, uh, choose the for the car. For example, uh, if my B 
we are 3.5 feet. Okay. And next, uh, side slip test. Okay, depress the brake pedal several times with the engine off until there is no change in the pedal table. You press and hold the pedal, then start the engine. So the result, if the pedal goes down slightly, operation is normal. Other than that, it's not normal. Okay, next, start the engine and turn it on, turn it off after one or two minutes. You press the brake and pedal several times slowly. Result, if the pedal goes down further the first time, but gradually rises after the second or third depression, the servo is airtight. Okay, last, you press the brake pedal while the engine is running, then stop the engine while the pedal depressed. Okay, for the result, if there is no change in the pedal travel after holding the pedal for 30 seconds, the servo is airtight. And this is the side seat test for the uh, experiment. Okay, this is the result. So the result may contain uh, of two sections, this means test summary and the graph obtained. So we go to the test summary first. Okay, next. So for test summary, we could see for adherence and breaking. So on this, on this experiment, we got for front tire, 71% for left side and 72% for right, right side. So this means only the difference between uh, left and right only one percent. So for rear, for rear tire we got sixty percent for left side and fifty percent for right side, and this show ten percent the difference between the left and the right side. So this will will be explained for the conclusion part, and then we go for breaking. Post. So for front brake, we got 148 Newton for left and 156 for right side. And then this showed uh, there's no uh, no difference, slightly different. So for rear, we got 192 for left side and 210 for right side. So for parking brake, we got 101 left side and 120 for right side. So next, we go to the graph obtained. So this graph showed uh, force versus time. So for, for front axle, for the graph show almost the same value for the brake force. So the rear axle, the graph shown the difference between the left and right tire when we apply a braking force. For parking brake, shown a bit different data for the left and right tire when tire almost to stop. So this is the four. This is what we obtain when we applying the experiment. So next is the question, discussion, and conclusion. Next. So the first question is based on the inspection and observation. Why brake left hand, why brake force left hand and right hand must difference less than 30% discussed based on Malaysia postpartum regulation. So based on Malaysia postpartum regulation, the imbalance brake front and rear must not more than 300% in order to get best performance of the brake system. Uh, as you can see from the picture beside, uh, this is the from the uh, from the postpartum image that we got. Uh, as you can see, uh, if the brake performance is more than 30%, it will fail the test. So the significant in difference brake left, uh, left hand and right hand will lower the efficiency of the brake. It will also make the vehicle in unbalanced condition and easily lost control. Next, what would happen if adherence difference more than 10%? So this will affect the performance of brake suspension as uh, the observation will be different. As addition, in the cornering, the suspension system not be able to stabilize the vehicle during braking at high speed and cause uncomfortable to the passengers. Next. So for the discussion part, uh, discuss brake force result based on the roller test result. Based on the result obtained, the adherence test showed that uh, the, for the front, 
left hand 71% and 72% for the right hand and rear 60% and 50% which is reflect the slight difference between them. This explains that the balance between each of them is in good condition. Next for the braking test, front uh, 148 and 156 for the left hand and right hand for the rear 100, 192 and 210 and the for and the for parking 101 and 120 as you can see this uh there is a slightly uh, bigger difference compared to the adherent test as for our group we are the third the group uh, for doing the test so uh, it may affect the result next is the for the conclusion part Okay, finally conclusion, throughout this laboratory session, we had the opportunity to familiarize on handling the side slip test machine, which is the primary equipment in this lab. We also learned on how to inspect slide slip testing and adherence, and also measuring the weight of the vehicle and also able to inspect the braking force. Okay, at the end, we were able to observe and evaluate the test results as for our knowledge. And that's all from us. Thank you.